Well, I'm recording this on a Friday. It's Good Friday, actually. And you can see here in Northwest Pennsylvania, we do have snow on the ground and we're back to the 20s in temperature. I've got some work to do in the tractor, so I wanna to talk to you about that and how I'm staying warm. Stay tuned. Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life. You can see I'm right here with the John Deere 2210 with the brand new Curtis cab on it. Now I've been outside a couple times with this, I'm already using it and I really love it. But on days like today when it's 20 degrees, I'm wishing I had installed that heater, which I have not done yet. So in a future video, you'll see that. But today I'll show you a couple things. How I'm heating the inside of this cab temporarily and it's working great. And then secondly, you can see after my installation, these windows are pretty dirty. So I'm gonna show you with all this glass around me how I get that all clean. And you can also see, I've not yet pulled the plastic off some of these panels. And some of you noticed in the installation video of this Curtis cab that the glass in the door was cracked and broken. That happened in shipping. Some of you asked about it in the comments, so I wanted to go ahead and address it right now. In shipping, that door got broken right down around here. Um, I contacted Curtis, they immediately sent another door out. You can see I've got the brand new door on now. No cracked glass, good to go, but the glass is filthy all the way around this cab. So I'm gonna show you how I clean it. Now, if you watched the pellet stove cleaning video, you saw I used a rag that I called a Norwex rag. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Norwex. There are parties that people go to, to to get and use Norwex rags to replace chemicals in their homes. And what I've found is that the Norwex rags are great in the garage when you have to do a cleanup on paint or get your glass clean. You know, normally when you use Windex or other chemicals and paper towels, it's a lot of work. There can be some streaking, even in the streak-free versions of window cleaner. And I've found that using the Norwex rags really gets the windows nice and clean and I like that I'm not spraying anything on them. It's just water on this rag. So in a future video, maybe we'll talk more about Norwex, but I don't want this to be a sales pitch for Norwex. What I want it to be is to show you how nice this glass can be once it's all cleaned up. If you are interested in a Norwex rag, I'll put a link down in the description. The ones I'm using today are the Enviro cloth and the window cloth. So we're gonna start on the outside here. We'll clean the outside windows first, the whole way around, and then we'll go in the inside. And you know how in your car you get that film on the inside that's hard to get clean and it leaves those streaks? These two cloths work better than anything else I've tried. And as you know, I do a lot of driving for work. Um, I'm in the car a lot. I want those windows to be clean. So I've got a lot of experience cleaning windows. And like I said, these work the best. So I'm gonna start with this Norwex Enviro cloth. It is damp. Like I said, it is 20 degrees out, so it's chilly. I, I dampen these with some warm water to just keep my hands warm. So that was the damp one. Now here's the dry window cloth. I'm gonna use this to dry and get anything left on the windshield off. Now we'll do the bottom. Just to give you an idea, so here is that dry cloth. You can see we did get some dirt on it. Most of the dirt would be captured in the damp cloth, but this picks up anything left behind. Moving on to the windshield. Now you can see there was some styrofoam on there that picked that right off. If you recall from the five things I hate about this John Deere, this jacket has quite a bit of grease on it from leaning up against here. Just put this over top of it as I reach across here so I'm not getting quite as much of that grease on my coat. I'll go ahead and pull the plastic off of these view windows. Give them a quick wipe.
hopefully you can see how dirty this glass is on this side. Now I can't tell if that's mostly on the inside or the outside, but we'll start with the outside. It looks like it's mostly on the inside. Like I said, I've tried lots of different tools to clean windows, especially in vehicles, the inside front windshield that gets that film over it. And no matter how high you run the defrost, it's never actually clear. That drives me crazy. But this works the best, this two cloth combination. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door up to the inside and you'll be able to see. I wanted to show you looking through this glass from the inside. It's crystal clear. That was easy. Just water on the Enviro cloth and the dry window cloth. And it turned out really nice. I'm gonna move on to the windshield and the rear windows. And then I'll talk to you about heat. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but outside it's very cold and windy. Like I said, just having the cab enclosure has kept me so much warmer. It's incredible. It'll be even more warm once I get the heater installed. So there we go, this window is pretty dirty also. You can see it's nice and clear now. Nice and clear. Now we just have the front windshield to do. Now hopefully you can see here nice, clean, streak-free glass all the way around this beautiful Curtis cab. Now the secret to my heat. So like I said, I do have a heater for inside here that will connect to the cooling system of the tractor, which will provide uh, radiant heat here with a blower inside the cab. I just have not had a chance to install that yet. So in these cold days like today when it's in the 20s and I need to be in the tractor and I'd like a little heat, I've been using a combination of the Jackery Explorer 300 and a little space heater electric uh, ceramic heater with fan. Now this works outstanding. It heats that cab up pretty quickly. It's not hard on the power of the Jackery and I'll do a separate whole video on this Jackery Explorer. I didn't actually buy it to do heating a tractor cab. 
Um, it's actually for if the power goes out at home and I'm working from home and I still need my computer and my internet to work, this will power those things easily for a long time. So again, more about the Jackery 300. Uh, if you're into overlanding or RV dry camping or boondocking, this is a great addition for that type of RV or tent camping. This is also a great thing to have in a vehicle. It does give you power. If you were stranded on an interstate or something for a long time, you could use this to recharge a phone. It does have a 12 volt pl plug. Um, you could keep a heated blanket in the car with you to keep you warm on cold days if you're stranded for a long time. So it's not heavy. It is 300 watts, 500 watts of peak power. Great addition, another video on that in the future. So just having the cab keeps me so much warmer than being out in the elements. But adding just a temporary heat source like this makes it nice and toasty in there. So like I said, future video on adding the actual heater for the cab, but in temporary, this was a great solution. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed how I cleaned the windshield in my cars. And now that same method transferred to the tractor. Looks great in here. These windows are all perfectly clean. Love those Norwex rags, the window cloth and the Enviro cloth. Like I said, I'll put links to those down below. If you haven't watched the Curtis Cab install video, check that one out. And there will be lots more tractor projects coming up in the future. I've been heating this this morning because I need to do some work outside. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you again the next time. Thanks for watching. Listen to the nice seal of the door. Just like closing a car door, a quality car door.